All right, so I'm gonna talk about how to send a pitch email because people have been asking me about this. So Ian and I were just talking and he said, first start off by signing up for a Gmail account if you don't have one, but I'm assuming you do. Uh, so this is something that was taught to me by my mentor. He said, if you like, I'm producing a few projects right now and I'm trying to get people to, uh, to work with certain people. So I'm targeting certain people. And if they're listed and their email is listed, don't be afraid to reach out, break the rules. I know people tell you, don't, don't do this. Don't do that. They're online. They can be found. Send them the freaking email. So <clears throat> first you start off by obviously introducing yourself, what you're doing. And then the key to this is how is this going to be valuable for the other person? And my mentor said, and this is really powerful, I'm telling you, because I've gotten a lot of responses from this. And even if people have said no, I've gotten so many replies from this formatted email than I have with any other email. So first you say what you want. Then you say, listen, I realize your time is valuable, so I'm willing to pay you for your time, even if it's more than your usual rate. Can I get on your calendar in the next two weeks? And then you send them whatever you need to send them. Thank you for your time and consideration. And the reason I know like to agents and managers, you might, you know, like you're not supposed to give them money till they get a percentage or whatever. If you don't have the money, you can say something like, hey, I'm willing to give you two points on the back end or hey, I will give you more than two points. I'll give you more than your usual percentage rate, whatever it is. Make sure it's valuable for them because time is the most valuable thing we have. And if you're reaching out to someone you've never met before, why should they do you a favor? They're taking time out of their day. They have a million other things to do. So that's going to make you stand out because you're coming from it from a business point of view. Hey, there's something in it for me. Hey, there's something in it for you. I think it's a great project. And if you believe in it, the other person's going to believe in it. Also, I think most of the time people that are like legitimately like already making a lot of money on the other side, I've, I've gotten a lot of people that are like, you know what, no, 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 don't worry about paying me for my time. Like, let's get on the phone. What's your schedule like next week? Give me some time so I'll work for you. Literally, no one has asked me for money by me sending those emails, but I've gotten so many responses. And if people have said no, they're like, well, can you come back to us when you have something more in place and we can set something up? So I'm telling you, this is really powerful. And I learned this from someone else. And before I was sending out emails, I wasn't really thinking about that stuff. So I remember also taking a marketing class where my teacher said, what's in it for the other person? And I think that's something to remember. It's not manipulative. It's actually valuable because you're going to, you're going to build something and they're going to remember you. They're going to remember. So next time you reach out, maybe they're in LA and you're in New York. Hey, you want to grab a cup of coffee? I'm, I'm going to be in LA so-and-so date. If you're in New York, Hey, let me take you out to lunch. So these are just some tips. Whatever you want to do with them is up to you, but I'm telling you, make sure you offer something that's valuable. It's powerful and you will feel empowered yourself. I hope this was helpful.